Do you remember the pivotal moment when you realized that you no longer belonged in the Amish community? And I think to break that up into two moments, it would be first the moment where you realized that you or mentally realized um, that you wanted to leave. And uh, the second moment, the moment that you physically left the community. You know, leaving the Amish is never one specific moment. It's usually a buildup of, you know, decisions and actions that are taken. Um, you know, when I moved out of my parents' house, I was 18. But before then, I had a radio. I was, you know, hanging out with my friends and we would go bowling. We would do things that we weren't supposed to do. Um, so it wasn't like a specific moment when I was like, okay, I'm no longer going to be Amish. It was just kind of like a gradual adopting of things that the Amish people traditionally wouldn't do. But there were definitely moments in my life that uh, created tremendous change. Um, for example, when I turned 18, I went out and I bought my car, my first car. I saved up my money and I went out. I put a cash down payment because I had zero credit. Um, so I bought my first car. And when my father found out, he said, okay, so you either get rid of the car or you find somewhere else to live because we're not going to have you living at home if you have a car. And I said, okay. Um, at this point, I was, you know, I was very frustrated with the rules and didn't make sense to me. I was like, it doesn't make sense for me to follow rules just because somebody else follows them, just because my forefathers did things a certain way. It doesn't make sense for me to do them that way too. And it just, you know, my nature did not go well with following the rules. Um, so at that point, I was like, okay, you know, I'm making my decision. I'm moving out. And that's when I officially moved out. But even then I was, I was living a mile away from my parents' house. I was still, you know, uh, I had, I, my mother has a bakery. We were doing baking together every week. Um, so I would go home and work every week. And uh, so it was, it's kind of like a gradual, a gradual separation.